Using AI.law's medical summary function is incredibly helpful for a lot of uh, lawyers, especially if you deal with uh, any kind of injury-related issues from uh, folks. It is very easy to upload and uh, gather information from the documents. You simply need to take the PDF, drag and drop it into our upload document groups. You can do this with multiple PDFs or very one large PDF. I will tell you here that the system works best when the PDF or PDFs that you upload contain um, things that are relevant to the medical entry and not pictures or discovery responses or complaints or answers or other kinds of things. So what this is designed to do is give you a medical summary based on the medical data as well as a police report. You can upload a police report. Um, invoices, insurance statements. Don't upload the entire uh, insurance um, contract that's you know, 40 pages long because it doesn't provide specific medical information for the, or injury information for this person. So the idea here is, is that you're uploading into a group uh, all the PDFs that you need in order to uh, for our system to pull information out. So another way to think about this is that if you wanted your paralegal to give you a medical summary or medical timeline, what documents would you provide to that person for them to pull the necessary information out of it and give you an accurate response? And that's what this, that's, that's how and what to up, uh, upload here. Now I already have this example uh, added, so I'm just gonna go through my history, click on it, and then click on medical uh, summary request. And what it's gonna do is run this through and give me the responses. Now I ran this earlier, so it has my history up here and I'll show you what it looks like. So I said, this is the summary piece of it and this is what it provides. It's gonna give you indicated medical standpoint at cause of injury is a car accident physically. Um, here's what happens. Decreased in uh, some cast removal, so we have broken bone. Psychologically, what the impact is, uh, physically impact, psychologically impact, uh, recovery time frames, medical treatment and effectiveness uh, as far as what, what how the treatment works. And then you also have impact on the person's life. This is a way for you to sort of get a sense for what might um, you, you, what you might you want to address from a damages perspective for this kind of issue or uh, be prepared to respond to, prepared to address from a damages perspective. The uh, next thing you have the ability to do with medical files is get the timeline. And again, you would simply click on the timeline. It's gonna provide you that. And I have that done, so I'm gonna show you. Here is medically significant events. It's going to pull out each individual date and what happened, including the accident, the consultations, the post removal therapy, whatever it might be, it's gonna pick out each one of those things and provide them to you. It's gonna give you a summary of prognostic information, opinions, it's gonna give you recovery trajectory, as well as any kind of pre-existing conditions or distinct injury that appear within the uh, file. So if you upload a medical file and there is something that indicates pre-existing condition, it should show you, it should address that for you. This system can also pull out costs It'll first pull out all the raw costs uh, uh, and then summarize it all for you in specific information down to exactly what uh, happened from a damages perspective, what this all costs, as well as follow-up medication and even for insurance coverage and, uh, and, and uh, treatment associated costs for, uh, for the injury. Lastly, uh, what you can also do is have the system pull all medical providers and you click on that and it will give you the names and if there are ad uh, uh, company names and addresses within this uh, document set it will provide you that information as well I don't think I added that in this example so what you're going to get is the uh, summary of the information this can get very detailed if there's 20 different people and a set of 300 medical documents that are uploaded Again, each one should be 30 megabytes or under, um, but it, it will run through each one. What you'll also notice is that uh, some of these that we just did will find all instances, and this is a deep dive. This will make sure that uh, it is a lot more accurate than if 
you're looking for one specific thing or you want to uh, talk about the case, whatever might be, um, you can uh, uh, off-click find all instances and provide general uh, provide questions that it provides answers to you for. And what I had done is to get back to this, I was just clicking off of it. You could refresh the page as well uh, to get to get into these four things. If there's specific other kinds of things that you want uh, to ask the medical file beyond these four things, you can indicate here. So. Um, is there an indication as to the time of day of the accident? We'll see if there is. Uh, we don't have a police report that's updated for the, uh, that's upgraded or um, excuse me uploaded for this. If there was, it would probably pull that information directly from that. So it does not specify the time of day, but you get the idea. Uh, however, presented the emergency department with acute pain the next morning on January 2, and it did give us a time for that. So it's a neat way to converse and ask questions and get information from medical files.